Tuesday, August 1st, 6 a.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Story over here at Newsweek.com. Authorities are treating August's solar eclipse, the first in 99 years, like it's the end of the world? Once I read that, I'm like, what's going on, you know? And I see what they're talking about with respect to the convergence of so many people in areas that aren't used to this type of influx in, in just people in general. For instance, Salem, Salem, Oregon is expecting a million additional people in that community up there. Idaho Falls, most of these areas are looking at somewhere around, I think, a million additional people. Well, those communities aren't facilitated for the additional a million people in a lot of areas. One thing that they're expecting is cellular blackouts. There's not, there's not going to be enough towers and bandwidth to go around. So that's going to create cellular blackout zones in a lot of these areas. That's just one of many things. It's like a domino effect. Porta potty shortages. I mean, that's something that definitely needs to be considered. Ambulances stuck in gridlock. These are just conditions that could arise from so many new people going to areas that simply aren't used to that type of crowds. Here's another thing that's, that's happening. Um, where did I see it? The Red Cross. Here we go. The Red Cross is preparing hundreds of emergency shelters in the 12 states that will see the rare full eclipse in case other emergencies that occur while millions of travelers are away from home. And they're talking about everything from earthquakes to heat waves to hurricanes could cause thousands to need immediate shelter. Hospitals are preparing for more cases of heat stroke, twisted ankles, car crashes. Um, Idaho Medical Center, they're particularly worried with so much traffic, normal deliveries of medicine and supplies won't arrive on time. So their hospitals up in Idaho are stocking up right now on uh, emergency supplies. Another concern, cellular service towers aren't meant to handle the capacity of an additional half a million to a million people per state. Cell phone, GPS, and smartphone internet services will likely be non-existent in the thin blue line zone. So that's something that you need to be prepared for. Uh, cell phone companies have a priority channel for the government and emergency agencies, and that's it. The rest of them aren't going to be able to handle the, the, the normal service from uh, customers. Hospitals are turning to beepers and landlines during this event. So that way, if doctors need to be reached, they can... Oh, and they're even asking the employees to provide a number of a, of a neighbor that has a landline in case they can't be reached by these beepers. Um, just this on and on and on. Uh, radio... Oh, the Red Cross will use ham radios to communicate when the cell phone networks go down. And they're pretty much saying that they are going to go down. But its staff and volunteers working on emergency response will have some access to top priority uh, emergency cell channels. Given all the hype around this event, how should the uh, <laughs> Eclipse Gypsies get ready? What they're recommending, which most of you probably already know, is pack enough food and water in case you get stuck in gridlock traffic for hours. Print the directions that you need, as you likely won't have access to GPS, um, which that's true. And let's see, GPS likely won't be an option where you're staying. Don't wing it and expect to find a hotel room the day before the eclipse, or you may end up in an emergency shelter or sleeping in your car. All they're saying is come prepared and bring your patience, because there's going to be a lot of people. They're basically breaking it down to a million, which is going to be good for local economies in some respects. Um, could be a downfall to some economies because there's going to be a big cleanup effort needed after all of these people depart. So if you're in any of these areas and you're planning on going, respect their communities. Um, don't just go there and, and just Leave it as good as you found it. That's all I'm saying. Respect. Just basic respect. If you go there, leave it the way you found it. Enjoy yourself. Bring your patience and be prepared for anything because they're setting up Red Cross emergency shelters in all of these places. Like they're preparing for the apocalypse. 
and it's the solar eclipse. And I'm going to be able to see 50% of it, but I'm not going to go to the thin blue line. I do have a friend up here near Salem that's going to try to record the entire event, and we may try to live stream it if we can figure out a way to uh, get things connected to where it runs smoothly. I'm not going to do it if it can't run smoothly, but we're going to try. Uh, and he's right in that sweet spot. So, solar eclipse update. They're preparing for not only the solar eclipse, but the apocalypse. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there.